Hi, hi guys, this is, this is Tom, um, and this is the new S Clipper 2, uh, the updated version of the original. Um, and I'm just going to chat through some of, the, some of the differences, some of the benefits. So it's still got the same um, curved overlapping blades, which smoothly cut through the nail, so you can trim without the pink. It's also got a clever under nail skimmer built in there, uh, and we'll go into some details. And we're now offering a 25 year guarantee. So if you have any problems whatsoever, there's details on the pack. You go to the website and you get our address and literally you just uh, send it back to us and we'll send you out a, a replacement. So I really believe in this because of the, the surgical steel and, and the way we've made it is just a, a fantastic product. Um, now, as a lot of people seem to like keeping the packaging, I'll show you a little tip on how to open without kind of damaging the box. So if you go to the bottom and you just press quite hard there, you'll see that the label just pops off and then you can pull it open. Um, and then once that's open there, you can open the box and you've, uh, you've still got that box. Now with the S-Clipper 2, we've had to hold it in place a little bit better. Uh, and so uh, next thing you'll want to do is just uh, pull that away, possibly pull that away and, and discard that bit. And then you've still got this tray. And here is the S-Clipper 2. Okay, so if you uh, have the original S-Clipper, you'll notice it's, uh, it's quite a bit smaller. So we've made it a little bit shorter, like that, and, and a tiny bit uh, lighter, uh, and that makes it suitable for both fingernails and toenails. Uh, and it's a, a tiny bit narrower too, so you can kind of get into the get into the sides. Now, most critically, the blades, I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but the jaws here are a tiny bit thinner. Uh, and the angle is slightly better. And what that means is you can get an, a much an even closer trim. So um, this has been a huge amount of work actually. Uh, and I'm, I'm, very, I'm very proud of what we've uh, ended up creating. It's, it really is a fantastic product. Um, now the sharp eyed amongst you will have seen this and gone, what's going on there? And this is an under nail sort of skimmer as we're calling it. Uh, others might sort of say, you know, dirt cleaner or, or kind of uh, scrubber or tool. Um, and that's just there so that you can clean underneath the nail, maybe push down the side um, because, you know, two, two in one, uh, why not? We put a slightly different uh, black handle on there so you can tell the difference. Uh, to use, just spin that round um, and you will see, let's just make sure everyone can see that. And this is the uniqueness, the fact that those blades crop across each other and that means they cut a little bit like a pair of scissors, which when I bring in this, this fake nail here, see that it just so smoothly cuts through the nail. Oh, I was using it from the thick end there. So smoothly cuts through the nail without pinging a little bit everywhere, like most nail clippers do. And here we go, here's a, uh, here's a bog standard nail clipper. You can tell that it's, uh, it's actually a coated one. This is why, why it has that shiny appearance. Um, and this is the sort of cheaper competition, as it were. Now, when you squeeze that, you'll be able to see that those blades, ah, and they ping the bit around. And that's what the, uh, the complaints are that I was getting from people and why we, uh, why we got involved in clippers. So if I just do that again with the top view, ah, right, you can see that it's just pinged off there and there's no control. And also, I'm having to press pretty hard. Uh, and this is not a big bit of fake nail. There's a lot of force. Actually, last time I did this, the, the clipper I was demonstrating with snapped in half, which wasn't which wasn't too great. Now, in comparison, the uh, the new S Clipper 2 from the top, you can just see how incredibly smooth that is, and the bit of stuff is just inside. Let's show that again. So, because of those overlapping curved blades, it just really smoothly cuts through and the piece is left inside. So you can be, I kind of tend to use it on its side over the top of the bin, and I just slip like that, and the piece just falls into the bin. And also, there's no, there's no kind of noise. Let's just show you with these clippers again, how noisy it is, and we'll, we'll try and put it on the screen just to show you, but, oh, I've, I've actually missed the nail. No, yeah, that's not a great demonstration. Come on, Tom. Oh, that pained. Um, let's just show you that 
pinging everywhere, making that uh, sort of uh, pulling noise. Now also, now I don't know if you've ever felt this, but you know when you're trimming a nail, you feel like that. I don't know if you can just see that. You, you feel like the nail is actually being flattened. Now that, and it pulls up at the edges. You know, you're sort of trimming a nail and it almost feels like it's really pulling up. Now that is because it's trimming at all places at the same time. Whereas with the S-Clipper, the S-Clipper 2, I should say, um, because you're actually only cutting in one little point at a time and smoothly trimming across, you don't get that pulling feel and it gives you a really nice smooth, smooth finish. So there you go, the new S-Clipper 2. Put it back, just, just put it down there. With the uh, surgical stainless steel, the 25 year life guarantee, uh, the thinner, closer blades, the under nail skimmer there, um, and, uh, and obviously the, the little carry box uh, to, to keep it in, should you wish. Uh, yeah, my, uh, my, my face is still on there. Um, not necessarily my decision, and it uh, makes life quite interesting when you go into a, a retailer and you see it there. Um, thank you very much for all, all your support. There we go.